హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ బాగున్నారా మేమైతే సూపర్ గా ఉన్నామండి మీరందరూ కూడా చాలా బాగుంటారని ఆ భగవంతుని మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాం ఈ రోజు మా పెద్దమ్మాయి గీతు హాయ్ తను ఈ రోజు బ్లడ్ గ్రూప్స్ ఎలాగా బ్లడ్ గ్రూప్స్ మొత్తం లెసన్ అంతా కూడా అందరికి అర్థమయ్యేటట్లు ఇంగ్లీష్ లో అని చక్క చెప్తుంది పిల్లలందరూ కూడా శ్రద్ధగా వింటారని నేర్చుకుంటారని అనుకుంటున్నాను గీతు చక్కగా బ్లడ్ గ్రూప్స్ అందరికి బాగా చెప్పు ఓకే Hi friends good morning all how are you this is geetika today we learn about blood transfusion and blood groups do you know what is blood transfusion that process of transferring blood from one person to another person through vein is called blood transfusion do you know when blood transfusion is done when a person lost huge amount of blood due to injury surgery or certain medical conditions generally transfusion is done between two same blood groups if transfusion is done between two different blood groups it causes agglutination do you know what is agglutination agglutination means clumping of blood which causes death it means it is because of reaction between antigen of the donor and antibody of the receiver it means antigen of the donor and antibody of the receiver should not be same do you know who is donor and who is receiver donor a person who gives blood is a donor receiver a person who receives blood is a receiver let us learn about blood groups Blood groups are first discovered by Carl and Steiner in 1900. There are four blood groups. A, B, A, B, O. Blood groups are classified by the presence of antigen and antibody. Let us see about antigens and antibodies in our blood. people with a blood group a blood group will have antigen a and antibody b people with b blood group will have antigen b and antibody a people with ab blood group will have antigen ab and antibody absent people with o blood group does not have antigen and have antibody ab in addition to antigen and antibody there is a factor called rh factor it decides whether the blood is positive or negative let us learn about who can donate to whom a group people can donate to a group people and ab group people b group people can donate to b group people and ab group people ab group people can donate to a b group people only o group people can donate to all the blood groups that's why o group people are known as universal donors and a b group people are known as universal receiver bye we will meet in another interesting topic please subscribe my mom's channel bye